In today's video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 step by step in just a few minutes. If you are planning to install Windows 11 on a new computer or reinstall it on your existing one, then this video is for you. I'm using HP gaming laptop with older version of Windows 11. Now recently, I have had some problems, so I decided to clean install Windows 11. Now before we start off, make sure your computer meets the system requirements for Windows 11. Now as you can see, this is my main SSD. We will erase it and install Windows 11 in just a few minutes. To install Windows 11, you will need USB drive with at least 8 GB of space. Now let's start downloading Windows 11 ISO file. Go to official Microsoft website and download the Windows 11 installation media tool. Then open the tool, accept the terms and conditions, and choose your language and edition. Now instead of creating a bootable USB directly, we will download the Windows 11 ISO file for now. Now choose the ISO option and save it somewhere on your computer. Now make sure you have a fast internet connection and the download will take some time depending on the speeds of your connection. Once it finishes, close the creation app tool. I recommend you to save the Windows 11 ISO file to an external media for future usage so you won't have to download it again. Then download Rufus and open it. Now plug in your USB drive to your computer. Select your USB drive in Rufus and import the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded. Then for the image option, stick to standard Windows installation. For the partition scheme, choose GPT and target system as UFI and click start. Now Rufus will show some extra options to customize the Windows installation. For example, skipping the Microsoft online account requirement, disabling data collection, now you can choose whatever fits your needs. If you want more security, you can uncheck this option to encrypt the drive. Now click OK to start creating bootable USB with Windows 11. Now this will take some time depending on your USB device writing speed. Now once the USB is ready, I recommend downloading the drivers for your computer, especially for Wi-Fi, sound, graphics, and more. Now go to your laptop or motherboard manufacturer website and download the drivers. If there's any space left on the USB drive, create a folder and copy all your drivers for easy access after installation. Also, make a backup of your important files to an external media, but this process will erase everything on your main drive. Now it's time to boot the system into BIOS using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now turn off your computer. When the screen goes black, turn it back on and press your BIOS shortcut key repeatedly. Now mostly it could be escape, delete, F2 or F9. In my case, it's the escape key to boot into the startup menu. 
then pressing F10 to enter the BIOS settings. Then inside BIOS, look for the boot options and enable USB boot. I'm also going to enable secure boot and change the UFI boot order. Now make sure to set the USB flash drive as primary boot device. Now this way the computer will check for the USB drive first for an operating system and boot from it. Now once you have made these changes, save them and exit from the BIOS. Now your system will boot into Windows 11 from the USB drive. You will see the Windows 11 setup screen. Now choose your language and time zone. Then click next. Now choose the keyboard language. I will stick with default US keyboard. Then for the setup option, choose install Windows 11 and check the option that says delete files, apps and settings. Then click next. Since my laptop supports hardware-based Windows activation, so Windows 11 will be activated automatically without asking for a product key. And that's why I did not see the activation screen. In your case, if you do see the screen asking for a license key, you can enter it if you have one. Now make sure you are connected to internet so Windows can validate it. If you don't have a key, you can skip this step and activate Windows later. Next, accept the terms and conditions. Now you will see a list of all disk and partitions. Disk 0 is usually your internal drive where Windows 11 will be installed and the disk 1 is the USB pen drive. We need to erase disk 0 before installing Windows. You can delete each partition manually by selecting it and click delete but this method is not the safest. Instead, we will use the disk part command to clean the drive properly. To do so, Press Shift plus F10 to open command prompt. If it doesn't appear right away, press Alt plus Tab to check open windows. Now let's increase the font size in the command prompt for better visibility. Just go ahead, hold the control key on your keyboard and scroll with your mouse wheel. Now type disk part and press enter. This opens the disk part tool. To select the internal drive, which is disk 0, type this command. Now make sure you are selecting the internal drive and not the USB drive. Next, type this command to erase the drive. Then type this command. To set the drive to use the GPT partition style, which is required for UFI systems. Now, once it's done, type exit twice to close both disk part and command prompt. Now you are back to the disk selection screen. Now click on refresh. And you will see that disk 0 now unallocated space. Now select this unallocated free space. Click new to create a new partition and choose the primary partition to install Windows 11. Now when you see this message, your screen might go black. Now at this point, Quickly remove the USB drive. If you don't, the system may reboot into Windows Setup again. If that happens, just force shut down the computer, remove the USB stick and turn it back on. It will boot into the freshly installed Windows 11. Now you will see the welcome screen. Go ahead and choose your country or region. 
Then select your keyboard layout. You will notice there's an option that says I don't have internet. Select that to skip the Microsoft account login and avoid all the extra privacy setup questions. Then you can create a local user account and it will take you straight to the Windows desktop. Now once you are on the desktop, plug the USB drive back in to install drivers that you copied earlier. After installing Windows 11, especially on laptops, things like Wi-Fi and brightness control might not work right away. You can use Ethernet cable to use internet, but for now, I will install the Wi-Fi and other drivers manually. Now as you can see, Wi-Fi starts working once the drivers are installed. Now also, my laptop has both iGPU and NVIDIA GPU. The brightness control is handled by the iGPU, so I will use the AMD software application to find out and install the proper driver. To set up the NVIDIA drivers, you can download and install the NVIDIA application. It will automatically detect your GPU and guide you through installing the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. It's also recommended to update Windows after installing. Now go to Settings, Windows Update and click Check for Updates. Once all drivers and updates are installed, restart your computer. Now everything including BASIC and GPU drivers should be working properly. And that's it. This is how you properly install Windows 11 on your computer step by step. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.